Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to continue our series on how to make $250 a day, the step-by-step -step blueprint. So uh, in the past, we've already covered a few things here. We talked about choosing uh, the right broker for trading. We talked about uh, choosing the right account type uh, for trading. We talked about choosing your budget uh, for trading. And, and so we are now getting to the point where we want to start talking about setting up your dashboard. And again, in this case, this is not one size fit all because we have different uh, broker, uh, brokerages out there that you can use for trading. So if you're using TD Ameritrade or using Weibo like I am, you would have your dashboard completely different. Even with Weibo, you can still uh, customize the dashboard to your liking. So in this case, I'm gonna show you guys how my dashboard is customized on the Weibo platform. But before we get to the guys, if you are new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so when it comes to day trading guys uh it's always about you uh, making sure that you have the tools and the platform the layout and everything those details that gives you an edge to trading so again on the weaver platform you can either use what they call their desktop app which means you have to download it and install it on your computer or if you don't have the ability to install stuff on your computer then you can use their web app which is uh, kind of the same there's a little bit of nuance there but uh again they pretty much operate the same or if you are so quick and smart which i don't encourage you can day trade on your phone but day trading on your phone is very risky because you don't see a lot of stuff that you would see on the desktop app or on the web app so we're going to jump right in i'm going to show you guys my layout and why i have it organized that particular way and if you want to copy it that's absolutely fine but again i want you to be able to find something that works for you that you feel comfortable uh working with so if we take a look right here this is the weibo uh, web app if you can see the web app again is just through the url so you just like any browser that you have you sign into that browser um, you can definitely access the Weibo web app and use that for trading. So on the Weibo web app, you can see the way I have my trading uh, dashboard set up. If you can see here, um, to the left here, you have these options. If you click on the trade, once you get on the trade, um, you go to um, new dashboard. When you click on that dashboard, then that's where you can start adding all of these uh, these. Uh, what I call widgets that I have on my dashboard. So my dashboard, um, the way it's organized is a left to right kind of flow, just the way you would read a book. That's how I organize my dashboard to look and feel left to right. So from the left here, the very left, you can see the first thing I have in there, the first widget that I have, it's my watch list. So what am I trading for that day? So the stocks that I'm interested in trading for that day, I put them on that watch list and then uh, I can start going through a toggle between the different uh, stocks on that watch list. So right now, let's say I'm looking at AMC, uh, this AMD, I can switch and look at AMD or I can look at this one, NAOV. Uh, this is one that we traded today. So again, I can look at that watch list. So I'm reading from left to right. Next is, uh, you can see here, my order entry form. So once I have identified the stock that I want, I, how, how do I want to buy it? So there's several ways. And again, I'm going to do a separate video on one of the other ways that I used to buy, but this is the obvious way. So if I'm actually tracking this stock and I'm saying, hey, I have, uh, you know my support I have my resistance I have the numbers and I can put in my buy order here let's say I want to buy a hundred shares uh, I put in a, a limit price then I'll just wait uh, until it hits my limit price and then it'll, it'll get me in that's one and then you can also put in your stop loss slash take profit as a bracket order again we're gonna do that in separate videos I just want to show you guys how this is organized for me and then Underneath my watch, my uh, order entry price, I have my widget for level two. So level two again is one that gives me, uh, you know, exposure to see what people are bidding at a particular stock or the people are asking for a particular stock. So the bid and the actual up here on my level two. So that is good. And then uh, right here underneath that I have quotes. If you see quotes here, it just simply gives me an idea as to is this stock 
uh, shortable. So if you can see here, this is hard to borrow. So this stock is not shortable, uh, or it's if it's shortable, it's, it will probably be very expensive. You can see here, hard to borrow. So it gives me that kind of exposure of again, if the stock is shortable, if it's margin or if it's not. So those different things, I'll see that on that quote. And all those are widgets that you can get right here. If you go under um, a widget, you can see it shows you the different widgets. So if I go under stocks, you would see quotes that I just showed you and then charts and all the different stuff. So again, that's where you get the widget. And then the next, the next thing that I have here, obviously it's my chart, which is very important because you obviously want to see what's happening so you can draw some levels and understand where the market is at. So I put my chart here. I make it a little bit bigger because I, I would love to see um, at least I yeah, trick with a one minute uh, 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 time frame. So it makes it a little bit uh, really, I need a bigger screen to really make sure I, I'm seeing everything. I can see at least the last five minutes or so. But uh, some people trade with their five minute time frame. Uh, Weibo gives you one minute, two minute, three minute, five minute, 10, 15, 20, uh, 30, and so on. So again, my chart gives me that. And underneath my charts, that's where I have my indicators. And the way you add indicators is simply by going to indicators right here and choosing what you want to put on your chart. And that would be a separate video to show you guys what indicators I use. And then underneath that, I have a, I have two other widgets that shows me my working order and then only shows me my position. So again, if you go on the widgets here, Let's go on the widget. Um, you see position. That would be this one down here. And then uh, if we go on the working orders. So order book would be this one right here. So I want my order book, which is this, and then my position uh, positions, which is going to be this. So I put that. So that when, when I go in, I can see orders that are uh, open and waiting. And then I can also see uh, the ones that have I have a position on. And if I'm green or I'm red, I'm just looking at what should i do and make that decisions i like that and then if you see here right here at the bottom right corner here i have the news widget and so in this case when i select a particular stock uh Weibo gives me some at least some news about that stock not necessarily the the i mean the best but at least uh, something that would give me uh, some guidance i would have to go out to benzinger and all these other places cnbc to go find some even some more context but at least it gives you an idea where you can get started so that is the layout uh for my dashboard on the weibo uh web app so if we switch gears here i can show you guys what the layout looks like on my weibo desktop app it's pretty much the same but the only difference is that i have a lot more uh real estate to deal with so if you see again, I'm doing a left to right approach because I read left to right. So I start here with my watch list. Um, as you can see here, I have moved to my order entry form. And then down here, that's where my level two uh, needs to go. And then obviously the quotes that I mentioned to you guys. So you can tell if the stock is uh, marginable or shortable. So I can see that. And then um, obviously my charts and then my indicators below that and then my orders and then my position and obviously again the news so the layout is pretty pretty simple and it's pretty much the same so once you you create a layout like this you can save it so that way you don't have to create, keep doing it every time you give it a name and save it it would then show up under your account each time you come under this you can see it and then that keeps you going so that is how my layout really looks like again i'm going to do a quick um you know run up here so you guys can actually see on the weibo web app if you want to do it again like i said go here and say new dashboard once that new dashboard opens up and then you can have you have a you can have a blank slate once that opens up and then you go under widgets and then you can start picking and choosing which widget you want to add and then move them around um, maybe expand and 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 maybe uh, reduce the size to fit your particular screen or just your situation. So again, that's how you you get that done. So again, this is just my personal uh, setup. It doesn't mean that you have to do the exact same thing, but if you think this is something that works for you, you can copy it, use it, and make your platform or your dashboard um, really be to your convenience. Again, we're gonna talk about some important things like the indicators that I use. We'll talk about 
using uh, hotkeys uh, on the Weibo platform, which are all tools that you would leverage to give you an edge as you trade. So that's it for this video. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Also, guys, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.